Hello everyone, you're watching Global Leaders Network, Win TV. I'm your host, Ye Sa Yoon. There are many leaders globally in areas such as government, non-for-profit organization, business, our industry, hospital, education, etc. Global Leaders Network invites these leaders and share their wonderful stories. Today, I invited someone from uh, government, village of Skokie Mayor, George Van Dusen. How are you today? Doing well, Ye so Thank you for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Would you please uh, briefly introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, George Van Dusen. I'm the mayor of the village of Skokie. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my 20th year as mayor. I first became involved in village politics in 1984 when I became a member of the Board of Trustees. Mm -hmm. And then in 1999, I became mayor. Yeah. I also teach uh, on a part-time basis at Oakton Community yeah. College in the political science department. Wow, political science, I did not know that. Um, so you are teaching two courses then at Oakton College? It depends, I teach one or two courses a semester. Yeah. Uh, I do it because I like to keep my hand in the subject and I love being with the young people. It's uh, very refreshing. Mm -hmm. And you, you get a chance to interact and get an idea of what's on the young people's minds. Mm -hmm. I think that is really important. And I heard that one of your students actually told me one time that you're a great student. Uh, oh. You're a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. uh, the young people are the future and they need to know about government. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that they know something about history, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, world history or American history, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, getting a historical perspective always makes us better citizens, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, but what was your dream when you were young? I'm curious about this. May come as a little bit of a surprise, mm -hmm. but uh, from the earliest age until my late teens, my ambition was to become a major league baseball player. Uh, oh. I had a tryout with uh, the Detroit Tigers. Mm -hmm. uh, that was the team I wanted to play for. Mm -hmm. And everything I did as a young person was devoted toward that. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, I didn't make it in the tryout. Uh, it was a great experience, but uh, I wasn't signed to a contract. Mm -hmm. Had to find something else to do. And I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And the opportunities were to work on the assembly line at Ford or Chrysler or GM, or perhaps in one of the steel mills. And I decided to go to school. Mm -hmm. And I would not been a good student to that point, but uh, I had some very good teachers who inspired me, and I went on and I got a PhD uh, in history mm -hmm. at Loyola in Chicago. Mm -hmm. That's how I wound up here. Oh, wow. But originally, I wanted to play baseball. Wow. I also heard that you also published a book. Is this true? I've done two books. Uh -huh. uh, the first one was the Encyclopedia of the Detroit Tigers. Uh -huh. Uh, I did that for Sports Publishing Incorporated. That was quite a while ago. And most recently, this last year, I came out with a book with a, my co-author, Michael Dorff, uh, Clear It With Sid. Mm -hmm. It's a biography of my former boss, Congressman Sidney R. Yates. Mm -hmm. Yates served in the U.S. Congress from 1948 to 1962. Mm -hmm took a two-year break and was uh, an ambassador at the United Nations, mm -hmm. returned to the House of Representatives in 1964, and then served there until after the election mm -hmm. of 1998, mm -hmm. uh, at which point he retired. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael and I have done a book on him. Mm -hmm. His career really exemplifies mm -hmm. 50 years of politics. Mm -hmm. He was a very proud New Deal liberal, but he also had the uncanny ability mm -hmm. to show respect for uh, those who didn't agree with him, mm -hmm. work on the environment, mm -hmm. uh, foreign affairs, and so on, uh, came about because of him. And mm -hmm. 
We call it clear it was Sid because Yates rose to such prominence mm -hmm. in the House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an important book mm -hmm. because it shows that you can get something done on a bipartisan basis. Mm. Uh, so I'm very proud of the book. Mm, I see. How can we buy that book then? Uh, it's in most of the retail bookstores, uh, Barnes & Noble, the independent book bookstores like the Bookstall in Winnetka. Uh, it's also on Amazon. Mm, I see. But you seem very busy with the, uh, you know, work with the mayor job and also um, professor and author. How did you find your time to write even book? Uh, I, it was a certain matter of self-discipline, I guess. Mm. Uh, when Michael and I first started on the project, I simply decided I would put away one or two hours every day, wow. Monday through Sunday, and do something on the book. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a piece of advice I got from my dissertation director when I was in grad school. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me, when you have a writing project simply tell yourself mm -hmm. you're going to do something every day on it, no matter how small it is. Because mm -hmm. if you let a little bit of time go, it's natural to just put it off, put it mm -hmm. off. Uh, I enjoy research, mm -hmm. whether it's research as mayor or research for a class or mm -hmm. for the uh, clear it was said. But I find it very hard to get myself to write. I don't like writing. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to simply tell myself, get up and go over to the library and spend one or two hours at the library mm -hmm. writing. Get it down on paper and I do it longhand. So mm -hmm. once I would get it written, mm -hmm. I would edit it and then I would word process it. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got to the third or fourth draft, um, it was pretty close to being finished. And then I'd give it to my co-author and he'd read it and mm. uh, do some editing himself. And we did that back and forth, but it's just, it's a matter of time management and mm. telling yourself, do it. Discipline yourself. Yep, and sometimes we have uh, village board meetings a couple times a month. Mm. And I would come home from the board meetings, mm. and if I hadn't done an hour or two hours of work, I would just say, you don't need sleep, you got to get it done. So I would wow. go into our uh, dining room table, sit down, wow. and do the work. When you, uh, we, we signed a contract mm. with the University of Illinois, mm -hmm. and we had a year to produce the manuscript. Mm. We had done quite a bit of the research, but we still had interviews that we needed to do. Mm. So it was a matter of just scheduling. Mm. And uh, I'm very lucky. Uh, mm. I have uh, great people working with me mm -hmm. and keep me on track. Mm. Um, uh, uh, Vicki Varga is my assistant. Mm -hmm. and. She makes the trains run, mm. so I'm very lucky. <laughs> she's here today, by the way. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad she's here. <laughs> she's making sure that I keep on schedule. Yeah. <laughs> What's your vision for Skokie, then? I, I want it to be a place that has strong institutions, mm -hmm. at public and private, mm -hmm. that are welcoming. Uh, we're very proud that we are a mecca for people from all over the world. Mm -hmm. uh, we have people from over a hundred different places mm -hmm. all around the globe. Uh, we have at least 75 different languages spoken. Mm -hmm. And that's a great strength. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also a challenge because a lot of the young people mm -hmm. who come to Skokie mm -hmm do not know English, mm -hmm. so we have to work with them to get them mm -hmm. to learn English. Mm -hmm. But what happens is once they know the language mm -hmm. and they feel comfortable, they succeed beyond mm -hmm. all of our expectations. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we're proud of our schools because we provide a first-rate education. Mm -hmm. So I, I want our business community, our not-for-profit community, our government community to work together mm -hmm. and to be welcoming. Mm -hmm. and, and we do. I think we do a good job of that. If you drive around the village, you will see dotted signs. Skokie welcomes mm -hmm. everyone. And I think that's a signal that uh, if you're a good citizen, uh, we want you. Mm -hmm. And we want to know what your experience is uh, because that's how you learn. I, I've learned so much from just working with people who have come to the United States mm -hmm. and found a home in Skokie. Mm -hmm. So my vision is to be a welcoming community. Mm -hmm. It's like me. I came here uh, 15 years ago from South Korea. Yes. Yeah, I like Skokie a lot so far. <laughs> it's, a great, it's a great community. Mm -hmm. uh, we've always been a home to immigrants, mm -hmm. going back to the earliest history of the village mm -hmm. uh, in the 19th century, when we were a little hamlet. Uh, we had people from all over, mm -hmm. and that tradition has continued. And, we're a place that uh, has a lot of respect for each other, mm -hmm. a lot of tolerance, but we're also a community that respects and wants to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, we have great educational institutions, mm -hmm. but also our library mm -hmm. is one of the finest in the United States. Mm -hmm. It won the National Gold Medal. Mm -hmm as one of the five best public libraries in the country. Mm -hmm. Our park district likewise mm -hmm. is the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've mentioned our schools. Our Chamber of Commerce uh, is very active, one of the best in the state of Illinois. Mm -hmm. So we've worked hard and we have a good community, I think. Mm -hmm. I think so too. What is uh, success to you? Relationships. Mm -hmm. um, I love meeting people. Mm -hmm. uh, I listen well, I think. I've learned over the years to, to listen. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad used to always say, mm -hmm. uh, you know what you know, mm -hmm. but you don't always know what somebody else knows. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can discover what somebody else knows is mm -hmm. shut up and listen. <laughs> that, my dad was a little blunt that way. Mm -hmm. But he was right, mm -hmm. and I've tried to follow that advice. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one of the things that helps make for leadership mm -hmm. and for success. Mm -hmm. uh, listen to people. Mm -hmm. Find out what they think. Mm -hmm. you, may, you may disagree, mm -hmm. and that's okay. Uh, it, but you find more in common with people the more you listen. Mm, I see. What brings you happiness? Um, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, my relationships with people, I, mm -hmm. I enjoy getting to know people, mm -hmm. um, finding out what makes them tick, mm -hmm. and my family. Mm -hmm. uh, my, I have a great family. I'm very lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been married for 45 years, mm -hmm. and I have two great kids and two great grandchildren, mm -hmm. and we all live in Skokie. Mm -hmm. So that brings... I'm a very lucky person. Yeah, I think I met uh, First Lady Susan. Susan, Susan. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably doing, coming together in Skokie when, mm -hmm. uh, when Korea was featured that year. Mm -hmm. And also she's author too, I heard. She is. Mm -hmm. uh, children's books. Mm -hmm. uh, although uh, she's looking for a publisher at the moment, but mm -hmm. she has done a uh, sort of a mystery book mm -hmm. uh, uh, that she's been working on for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, just completed it recently. Mm -hmm. She does. She's a very. She's a creative writer. Mm -hmm. Much better writer than I am. Oh really? Oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm not a creative writer. She is. Wow, wow. I'm looking forward to both of you guys' books, actually. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, she's a very good writer. Yeah. What do you do when you have a spare time? Well, I read a lot. Mm -hmm. I like mysteries. Mm -hmm. I read a lot of biography. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy sports. Mm -hmm. Watch a lot of uh, baseball. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and then every Sunday, mm-hmm. uh, the, f- the, f- the family gets together and I cook dinner for the family. Mm. And that's enjoyable. Uh, mm. The grandkids come over. I've got a granddaughter and a grandson. Gives me a chance to see them and my two sons and, and my daughter-in-law. Uh, we all get together and just mm-hmm. sit and talk, reminisce, mm-hmm. argue. Mm-hmm. Uh, usually we argue about uh, things like baseball. Mm-hmm. Uh, my one son is a Cubs fan, the other is a White Sox fan, and <laughs> I'm a Detroit Tigers fan. So we have a lot to argue about. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we, and we all enjoy current events. And, mm-hmm. Uh, we have different views on politics and everything else under the sun. Mm, I see, I see, like everybody else's. <laughs> yes, exactly. We're, a, I think, a pretty typical family. Mm, by the way, you're a great chef. I try your, you know, meat, <laughs> <laughs> hamburger meat <laughs> at the uh, Skokie Caucus Skokie Bar- yes. party. Yes, I, uh, I enjoy that. Mm-hmm. It, it's a nice affair. We always get over a period of three or four hours, get a couple hundred people, and mm. I enjoy cooking. It's all in the wrist. When you're grilling, it's just all in the wrist, or mm. as one of my sons likes to say, don't flip it so much, let it cook. Mm. You know, and I always say, leave me alone. <laughs> uh, I know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a secret. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I should try it too. <laughs> it's enjoyable. Uh, I find it very relaxing. Mm-hmm. I see. Do you have comments to our audiences uh, before we closing? Thank you. Mm-hmm. My father used to always tell me, never, people never get tired of being thanked. Mm-hmm. And the Korean community has made indelible contributions, not just to the village of Skokie, but all across our entire community. Uh, we're better for the fact that mm-hmm. so many people, like Soy, who is on our Human Relations Commission, participate and make us stronger. So my simple message is thank you for everything you do, and I look forward to continuing to work with you. Thank you so much for coming to our station and sharing your story, Mayor. Thank you. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> Thank you for watching Global Leaders Network. Uh, if you want to watch this again, you can watch this through our YouTube and also our website. Don't forget to subscribe us, and I want to see <laughs> all of you next Thursday, 9 p.m. Until then, have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>